Kushidara Temple. Monks are in danger. Norio! Lord Sakai! What they've done. Kushidera Temple deserves reverence, not bloodshed. Centuries of wisdom lie within those walls, and the Mongols were ready to torch it all to the ground. They attacked for a reason. The temple gives people hope. The abbot's been telling people to pray for a great storm to wash the invaders from our home. Now the abbot's missing, and the brutes stole the most sacred relic in Toyotama, a statue of Buddha carved at the temple's founding. My brother would have recovered them. He would have given these monks hope before they ran for the hills. Then we honor his memory and restore the temple. The Mongols stole the statue of Buddha from the main hall. And the abbot? He and his closest followers fled. I'm hoping they found shelter. I'll see to the monks. I hope Abbot Kome is safe. The abbot is from Cedar Temple. Why did he come here? To help resist the Mongols in Toyotama. But when they attacked, he escaped. The battle was chaotic. Might be difficult to track them. There's a farm nearby that supports the temple. We'll start there. I put an end to that. Then the abbot must have found shelter. This reminds me of another time Abbot Kome went missing. The temple was divided by a feud between our senior monks. What were they fighting about? I don't remember, but it seemed important at the time. The abbot disappeared for a week. We dropped everything to look for him. What happened to him? He hid from us on purpose. And we stopped fighting in order to find him. He's a cunning leader. Another time, my brother and the healer, Hochi, were fighting. The abbot started carrying a rock everywhere, arguing with it night and day. Kochi and Enjo were so embarrassed, they reconciled. How did your brother feel about the abbot? Like a father. If the Mongols captured the abbot, it could work out well for us. It sounds like he'd tricked them into giving up the invasion. <laughs> You're beginning to understand Abbot Kome. Fire! Coming from the farm. Nobody would dare destroy monuments to Lord Adachi. Here on Tsushima? Sure. But they don't know is who he is. The Adachi abbot? might be known outside of love the fire, don't they? But how He's not they the abbot. The monuments Just for him? one of his followers. Keep searching. He's dead. Burned alive. Norio. Probably too sturdy and not worth the trouble. I think I'll leave an offering. Water barrels. Tipped over. Straw bedding. Hmm. Damn. Could the abbot have saved himself? He protected himself with wet bedding. Escaped out the back. Maybe he survived. Whoever survived the fire went this way. Then there's still hope. Footprints are heavier, farther apart. He was running. Fight me! Uchuk! Sovaku! Aladuki! Uka! Ah! <laughs> 
edge. More blood. He jumped down. Blood on the rocks. Is that a cave? No. Is he? I'm sorry, Norio. Without his leadership, the monks will leave. And the temple will fall. The Mongols won. What's that next to him? A Lotus Sutra. Written in the abbot's blood. His final act. Like a samurai's death poem. The point of this sutra is that we can all be Buddhas. From the lowest peasant to the greatest noble. Written with his dying breath. Not for himself, but for those he left behind. Show the sutra to the monks. They might stay. And this is the sutra the abbot wrote in his own blood. A final act of devotion. A call to stand up to cruelty. A call to stay and not surrender. We will honor the abbot's sacrifice, Norio. We must not let Kushi Temple fall. Enjo the Guardian saved us once. Now his brother and Lord Sakai have saved us again. And together we can defeat the Mongols. Now we need to find the statue of Buddha. Where would they take it? The statue is here. Yes, my lord. The Mongols stole our sacred Buddha and rode off toward the coast. We'll return the statue and save this temple. Not even your brother could keep that promise, Norio. What was that about? My brother fell to a Mongol blade. Enjo the Guardian dies, and these monks are willing to give up everything. They're cowards. They're people. Enjo feared nothing. He wasn't even 20 when he saved this temple from bandits. Now it's up to us. The temple. The monks said they took it toward the coast. We can pick up their trail. <gasps> You're angry. How can you tell? You're not talking. Ah, it's that monk. He doesn't know the whole story about my brother saving Kushidera. I heard Enjo acted alone. That's the legend. In reality, he ordered three of his bravest monks to challenge the bandits. A distraction. A sacrifice. They died in battle, but only after giving Enjo enough time to flank the bandits and save the temple. My lord! Over there! So cold. What happened? I was following the Mongols. I begged them to give back our Buddha. Where did they go? Out of the forest. May your next life be more peaceful than this one. He gave his life for his temple. Like my brother, you would do the same. The statue.
Look for the statue. It is! Carved from a star that fell from the heavens centuries ago. Beautiful. There's nothing else like it on the island. Let's get it back to the temple. Angel became the guardian when bandits attacked the temple. They came for this statue. It's priceless. Probably survived many such attempts. How many more people have to die protecting it? You want to let it be stolen? <laughs> no. But the temple is filled with treasures. It provokes greed and envy. Lord Shimura brought me to see it when I was a boy. I was sure the sculptor must have met the Buddha in person. When I was a boy, my family traveled here to make an offering for the new year. That's when Enjo and I decided to become monks. I used to know what I fought for. We fight for a home. Maybe so. My lord! Norio! Have you spoken with the monks? Their resolve is growing, but they still fear the Mongols. As they should. Where is everyone? At the river, bathing, washing clothes. Who's that coming to the temple? Look, a Mongol who wants to die. He's alone. See what he wants first. The ghost and the brother of the guardian. I have a message for you. Speak. The ghost and the monks have defied the Khan's will. Surrender, and we spare this place. Refuse, and all will burn. We will never surrender. Then you will die. Don't have time to reach shelter. Then we'll be their shelter. Oh, I can't. The Buddha, the Abbot Sutra. Are they worth more than the monks' lives? I can't save them alone. Centuries of learning reside in this temple. I can't let it burn. But you'll let the monks burn. I will die for this temple. Do what you have to. Stay here. I'll find the monks at the river and bring them back. Mongols coming! Get away from the river! Get away from them! Advance and reach Nirvana! Retreat and find hell! Oryo! Send these Mongols back across the river, my lord!
safe, my friends. Norio, what are you doing? The temple's undefended. Temples can be rebuilt. Lives can't. We'll defend the monks at the pagoda. Lead the way! All of you, come with us! lost badly here. They won't be eager to return. The monks will never forget what you did for them. Spread the tale of our victory, so people know we fight for them. Kushi Temple withstood the invaders not once, but twice. We'll inspire temples all over the island. What will you do now? It's time I return to see the temple. We still need your Naginata to drive the invaders from our home. You'll have it. And my temple will be a strong ally to you in the north. I'll join you there. Let's check the temple grounds. My brother earned the name Guardian when he saved this temple. I wish we could have saved the statue. The statue's final lesson. Save what we can, but know that everything passes away. It's a worse statue when it's broken, but a better teacher. saw their camp? That's right, Sensei. Sakai. Sensei Ishikawa. Is all this Tomoe's work? She and her mongos have been busy. A woman here named Ran knows where to find her. Lead the way.
How does she know where Tomoe's camp is? She stumbled on it while foraging in the woods. She's lucky to be alive. Everyone with her was killed. Is your name Lan? <sighs> yes, my lords. The Mongols who did this to you, they were led by one of our own. Tomoe, I'll never forget that face. She used to ride with a group of thieves who lived here. That's not possible. Tomoe is from Umugi Prefecture. She found her way here. Her bow terrorized Utsuna for years. People used to say she could knock a falcon from the sky, blindfolded. This camp you found, where is it? The forest, southwest of here. The... between the river and the western shore. Damn her. The lessons I taught her, the secrets I shared. Oh, wasted. You old fool. Why did she lie to me? Tomoe never told you any of that. Before we fought, I offered to adopt Tomoe as my daughter. Make her samurai. For someone like her, that's quite a change in fortune. And I took it away. Because she's a hired killer. Because her sensei failed her. She fell back into the life she knew. It's one thing to wreck your chance at a better life, but to terrorize your own people. I am aware, Sakai. Are you? Can I count on you to do what needs to be done? We have a camp to find. We need to stop Tomoe before she takes more lives. <laughs> Back to a place she knows, because she's desperate. She has the Mongol Empire on her side. The more we damage her efforts, the more likely the Khan withdraws his support. We could use that to our advantage, drive a wedge between them. What if we did, and Tomoe abandoned the Mongol cause? After everything she's done, she deserves punishment. Even if she were willing to fight for us. Would you trust her? No. The woman we spoke to said Tomoe terrorized people here. It must have been years ago. Tomoe would have been young. In her teens. And holding her own among bandits. Hmm. Difficult for someone twice her age. And you never suspected anything. When she began her study with me, she hid a small blade in her sleeve. And she secretly hoarded food. I can see how you could overlook those signs. <sighs> there were others. I wanted to make her my heir so badly. I blinded myself to the truth. The camp should be nearby. Perfect terrain for archers lying in wait. Keep your eyes open. Stay low and find a good place to scout the camp. Up here. What do you see? Japanese arrows. Of course. Bodies used for archery practice. Tomoe's signature. Shut this camp down. Keep your eyes open for Tomoe. Ready when you are, Sensei. I'll stay here until you strike. Seen here recently. Look around. Sensei, over here. Could be Tomoe. The Sensei and the Ghost. I'm getting tired of you two. Your archers are dead. It's over. Ambush. I'll hold these fools off. This 
nowhere to go, Tomoe. Tomoe. So you're old Sakai, the sensei's new pet. And you're a gifted archer who had a chance at a better life and threw it away. Is that what he told you? Tomoe, why are we talking? So I can warn you to watch your back. My sensei tried to kill me. He'll try the same with you. Thanks for the warning, but I'm here to end this. It's already over. I have nothing. No one. Put the bow down, Tomoe. Has she lost her mind? No sign of her. She tells Sensei Ishiko. Sakai! What happened? Tomoe could have killed me, but she didn't. You let her get away. She jumped off a cliff. I saw her. You saw what she wanted you to. She sounded desperate. She is. Because of us. Why does she think you'll turn on me? She doesn't. She's trying to drive a wedge between us. And it's working. No. It's not. Good. But the next time you wonder if I can do what's needed, ask yourself first. Tomoe isn't finished yet. I guess they shall go north to curry favor with the Mongols. We'll find her. Need information, not apologies. Perhaps the farmers know. Perhaps. Lord Sakai, I am worried about her. Junshin, what was that about? Lady Masako is looking for someone. She is angry I couldn't help. Like you helped with Kajiwara the fisherman? Did you ever find him? Yes, after he killed his wife and daughter. How could I be so foolish? My friend can be harsh. But she speaks the truth. This time, I truly do not know who she's after. You have nothing to fear. I'll speak with her. Thank you, Lord Sakai. And also for ridding this farmstead of Mongols. Now we can rebuild. These people are lucky to have you. Be well. Left hold the bridge. Escorted by armed men. Thank you. That will be all. Did the farmers know who you're looking for? Someone on the list. A thief. I'll help you find them. I need to handle it myself. The farmer said they left with armed men. Mercenaries. Professional killers. They could complicate things. I can use your help, but I need your discretion. You can count on it. The farmer said they went toward the bridge outside the farmstead. It's this way. You're alive because of you, my lord. Who is this thief? She looted Clan Adachi's estate after the attack. Stole valuable heirlooms, personal items. What makes it worse is that Mai was our former servant. Three years ago, my husband caught her stealing. He wanted to have her flogged. I did what I could for her, but she had to go. It almost sounds like you miss her. She was a dear friend. Her betrayal stings more than the others. With the mercenaries, let's move in, quietly. I'm going to sell everything. I'm just waiting for the right time. Too late. He'll sell those heirlooms himself. Now take us to them. I'll pay you to leave them with me. <laughs> you have no money. I have this comb. It's gold, with pearl in the- We have our heads. Enough of this. Take us to the heirlooms. We don't need the mercenaries alive for questioning. Just her. The more of them we eliminate, 
The easier to be to recover what's yours. Just don't be seen, or they might hurt you. Careful. You'll be in the open. Find cover. stole my family's heirlooms for those murderers. How could you betray me? I didn't. You betrayed me. Turned me away. I saved you. My husband wanted you flogged. He knew. Then you should have left with me. I was the lady of Clan Adachi. And you were a thief. I still love you. Then tell me who you serve. He killed my family. And he'll kill me. I won't let him touch you. I'll take you to your family's things. We know the man you work for is a samurai. I don't know his name. I never saw his face. He communicated only through notes. He knew about us, my lady. I don't know. He said he knew what it was like to love you. That he understood my pain. Masako. My was my only... That has been the only... He was anxious about the heirlooms. Concerned they get broken. He's eager to sell them. Their value is purely sentimental. He won't get the money he seeks. Then perhaps he has no intention of selling. It's possible they're personal to him too. He was possessive in his notes. Spoke as if they were his. The heirlooms belong to no one but my family. I am the only one who remains. Your heirlooms are in the brush. Jin, will you gather them? I need to say goodbye. you to know I'm not you don't owe me an explanation I cared for my husband but I cared for my too you still do I think I always will other than my husband and my I've had no romances no admirers he could have been lying feigning sympathy to gather recruits I just don't know who would do that. We'll keep searching. It's only a matter of time. My work in Toyotama isn't finished. Meet me when you can.
This shrine has been desecrated. Who would do this? Completely destroyed. This took time and effort. Slain and left to rot. Utter contempt for these sacred messengers. Defaced. There's no doubt this was purposeful. Do you know who did this? What's up here? Slain, find peace. Forgive me. I thought you were one of them. That statue was one of Master Izo's. It wasn't enough for the Mongols to kill my father. They had to desecrate his legacy. I'm sorry to hear he's gone. We won't see his like again. This statue was his best. I could restore it if I had his tools. But his killers have taken our home, too. I'll get the tools. And we'll honor your father's memory by restoring his work. Thank you, my lord. Our home is just up the mountain road, and if you can avenge him... I will.
Master Izo's home. The sculptor's tools must have been. Master Izo, I'm glad you're alive. Your son thinks the Mongols killed you. <sighs> Poor boy. I'll take you to him. No. The reason I'm alive is because a Mongol general admires my work. The Mongols are mutilating your sculptures, destroying your legacy. He wants me to create a masterpiece for Kublai Khan himself. I can't refuse. Gather your tools. We're leaving. My statues is damaged. The Bosatsu down the road. I created that to honor my son's birth. It's not my finest work. He disagrees. Mamoru is a good son, but his eye for art has always been lacking. Whatever you may believe, that statue is one of the greatest in Kushi. Kushi? Do you know how vast the Mongol Empire is? You sound like you're chasing fame and glory. Aren't you? Everyone respects and fears the ghost, don't they? I'm fighting to save my people. You're lucky. You've never had to choose between duty to others and to yourself. Hide. Don't make a sound. My son. Quiet. Defending your legacy. I destroy it all to have him back. All you can do is honor his memory. Be the man he thought you were. I'm sorry, my son. 